subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to never miss any update. Motherboard processor Ryzen 3200 and SSD 240 GB WD Green and for RAM this 3000 megahertz 8 GB RAM. So let's assemble the PC. You have to put the fan to downward so the air can suck from bottom. So I <coughs> I have put the four screws. So after putting the SMPS, I will put the SSD. So it's time to put the SSD. I am I will be putting the SSD in front side and I'm putting the screws in there. So so we have put so I have put the four screws of the SSD. As you see, so, so it's time to so there are a lot of cable left, so it's time to Install the motherboard. Or I will put it this there. Only. So see, the screw is matched. Now we have to put the screws. It's time to put the put the power connectors in the motherboard. For the first connector we are taking is this big this 24 pin connector. Can we place our can we place the connector in the motherboard and next that the CPU connector which is the 8 pin connector this motherboard wants 8 pin connector so from the top I am routing the cable So this is connected and then there are a lot of cable left and now now I need to connect the SATA power SATA power in the SSD I have connected SATA power in SSD you can check the back side
Now it's time to connect the front connectors, the USB 3.0 and this and these things are very hard to connect. So I will be routing this cable from this down port. So there is the USB 3.0. I will be routing the cable from this hole. So it will be more it, it will look more good. This cabinet is very good. There are lots of good facilities and these holes are very useful for routing your cables and give your cabinet a clean look. This is the USB 2.0. So here we put the USB 2.0 in USB uh, in USB 1. And another one is for audio. And there are a bunch of cables. And audio for audio I will be routing this cable from here this part I have connected the audio cable from there now this there is HD LED this is the reset reset switch so you have to see there by turning the cabinet reset switch power switch now let's put the power power switch is there there is written in very tiny power reset reset is down and power is up Now, now the other is HD LED. Power LED minus plus. These are the minus and plus. Plus is minus is on right side and plus is on left side. The power LED plus. This is the power LED minus and next is the hard disk plus minus. So we are plugged in the system and now the last thing is putting the SATA cable on it. So let's remove this plastic parts and <clears throat> after removing this after removing this don't throw this keep it in the box of the motherboard you can need this if you are changing your cooler the, this Ryzen this Ryzen writing should be faced toward this side, toward this. So let's open this socket and put the processor. So we have put our processor. Now it's time to put the RAM. This Corsair Vengeance LPX 3000 megahertz. So we have, we, are, <coughs> we have placed our processor and RAM and the last thing is that the CPU cooler.
so i have put the processor fan on it and it's perfectly fixed and this is the fan fan header and we have to put the fan we have to put this in this yes this is fixed plug the pc so it's time to switch on let's see yes the pc is switch on in our first attempt and the fan is also speeding so let's check the monitor after putting the after connecting this message is showing reboot and select boot device inside big uh, we can see that the bios is updated because display is coming let's put on my bootable pen drive and see what's happening switch on the power switch on the pc so let's wait so there is the bootloader the two fans are not connected with the molex connector i have forget to connect that but the main thing is that all the parts are running and this is the boot this is the setup so you can you can see that i am successful in doing the pc build so let's install my windows 10 this is the crack version windows 10 i have not used any code i have not bought any windows 10 oem or other things so we have to partition this i will partition we have to format this partition table and face system so i am deleting the partition So the so what about the BIOS file? I have so the BIOS file install is F40 version of Gigabyte. The BIOS file only size about 10 MB and it's done easily. And this is the keyboard red, red, green. And for mouse, this is the wireless mouse because. I am unable to use wired mouse and it disturbed me a lot. So she started what language what region I am from Asia India so give the Asia region Bangladesh is coming let's see if they are India or not India yes keyboard layout English India and second node we don't need we are not skip we are not connected so you my PC name my name is Saurabh and I am giving my channel name yes okay password so I will be giving my password I will not show you what I give. So I have given the password. Security question one of three. What is your first page name? 
सो आफ्टर पुटिंग दिस सिक्योरिटी क्वेश्चन सिलेक्ट नेक्स्ट नो डोंट एक्सेप्ट हाय द न्यू विंडोज टेन आई एम आई एम ए विंडोज एट पॉइंट वन यूजर एंड आई डोंट नो अबाउट विंडोज टेन लेट्स सी व्हाट एवेन So the PC is on and the Windows. This is the Windows 10. I have to connect to internet for something. So let's switch on. Let's switch off the PC. So thanks for watching the video. I have successfully built the PC and successfully installed Windows 10 in 30 minutes. So now, now I have to put the drivers. So thank you.